Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a quick little update on this watercolor set. So, um, I reviewed this last summer. I was so excited to buy it. It's Whiskey Painters. Well, I don't know if it's in a, like official Whiskey Painters um, palette, but it's a little travel palette, a little kind of like bijou box that has a flask in there that you put water in, and it's got a little teeny tiny little water cup. And I, it's just, I've wanted, I've wanted one for so long. I finally bit the bullet and bought it because it had eight Schmincke Horadam paints. So you see Horadam, that's the artist grade version. And I just really wasn't impressed with the paint set. Now I did have about 12 tubes that a that Schmincke sent me because a viewer um, reached out to them. Oh, this was probably 10 years ago. And I uh, mentioned my channel to them and they sent me 12 tubes. And the tube paints I thought were vibrant, they're gorgeous. And the pans are filled from the tube, so like I didn't understand why these paints didn't seem as vibrant. And I think I have an inkling as to why. So when I got the paint, I got it, I used it a lot for about two weeks, but I was like, I filled my swatch, as soon as I got it, I filled my swatch chart and I filled a, a larger swatch chart and I, and I put a glazing line. And I was like, well, these are all right, but I just was not crazy about them. I'm like, maybe it's a color system. It came with these eight colors, which is meant for mixing, and they're they're good. Nothing wrong with colors. They're good colors. Um, and then I kind of set it aside. I was kind of bummed out. I didn't love it. It was okay. Um, so I kind of set it aside, and I think I had it in a painting bag, and it was like on its side, and then I came back to use it again to give it another shot, and some of the paint had like oozed out of the, the dried half pans, and I was so bummed out. I think what had happened was when I got this paint, um, I think maybe the pans, maybe there was like a coating over the pans, maybe some wax transferred from the wrappers, maybe it had just come from a really arid place because I didn't feel like the paint really released that well. But after a year just kind of like hanging out in my basement where I'm in Maine, it's not a very arid climate. We're kind of a humid, we're somewhat humid climate. Um, I noticed that the paints were sticky, obviously. Some had, had moved in the palette. So I thought I would go ahead and do another like uh, swatch over the swatches I already did. And I did notice they were vi more vibrant. So you can see these little squares are ones I just did this week. And then I went and did a um, like a glazing swatch over the swatch card that came with it. And I'm like, these are much more, feel much more vibrant now. Of course, they are a little glossy. So probably using it thicker than what they would intend. But it did give me hope that maybe I will love this paint. Um, so these eight are what came with it. And then these are just four that I added because the sepia is not my favorite brown. I put a burnt umber in there and I put a... Um, uh, different red one that have it had uh, cadmium red light. I think I put a scarlet in there maybe, and like a probably like a gamboge and a, a phthalo blue, a phthalo green rather, just to kind of oomph up the palette a little bit. So then I did a few paintings with them. I did these uh, just kind of three quick little peonies, and I liked them a lot better. They're still not the most vibrant paints that I have in my collection. These, the pans rather, the eight pans that came in this Whiskey Painters set. I'm just going to call it a Whiskey Painters box because that's kind of the, that's the style of the box. Um, and the, the lid is a little bit wonky, it seems. Well, maybe not. I think if actually if I have the hook on the front, it's not too bad. And I was always afraid I was going to like take this with me and lose the lid. That was another thing that I didn't like about this. But um, I got to not be precious with it and use it because it is fun and wonderful. And that's why I bought it, right? Um, so I'm going to, I think improve my rating of this set a bit. Um, I do have a full review on this, all the pros and cons and whatnot, but I gave it another shot. I did not contact Shminka because a lot of a lot of viewers when I did when I rated my artist grade palettes, a lot of it, a lot of my viewers said that's not right. Those should be much more vibrant. I think you got a bad batch or they accidentally gave you the student grade, the Academy paint by mistake, and I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a combination of the color selection and maybe it being very, sent from a very arid climate when I got it, um, that maybe it just needed to kind of acclimate and soak in some of the moisture from my environment to be able to be really vibrant, because they do seem a lot more vibrant now. And you can see there the, the Horror Dam, and I think it's highly unlikely that I would have gotten eight bad pans if that was the case. I think it's fine, it's just the color selection maybe wasn't on point, but like I said, I did not contact Schminka, so I, I think I've got Horadam paints. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just think that it probably wouldn't be the color selection I picked. They didn't seem as bright as the tubes, but they were different colors too. So I just want to do a quick little update on that because I know so many of you had, had uh, reached out and said, Lindsay, that doesn't seem right. I think that you got a bad batch, you got the Academy, but I just wanted to 
say that no I think they're I think they're Hordum. I think that um, probably and also their finely milled paint like this is the ultramarine finest which is very finely milled it's not the more granulating one um, it's a really traditional palette and I think I just need to use it a little bit more I think I might have been a little harsh and that's why I wanted to come out here because if I you know if I'm wrong if I am a little bit biased um, I want to call myself out on that because Schmink is a good company. Their, their pastels are my favorite pastels, and I think their watercolors are good. They've never been ones that really have grabbed me, could just be the colors I've used, but also they're a good company and I don't want to be, I don't want to yuck on anyone's yum, and if I feel like I've been unfair, I'm going to come out and, and retract, or at least add on to what I said before. So. Um, I'm going to use it more. I think I was also being a little too precious with it, and I think I was a little disappointed with how much I paid for eight colors that I think that was kind of clouding my judgment as well. And I just, you know, you're always going to get honesty from me. And if I change my mind or if I, you know, have a think about something and like a year later, I'm like, well, maybe I was a little too hasty. You're going to hear it. So I hope you hear. I hope you're here for it. I hope you like it. And till next time, happy crafting. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you later. Bye.